Now you may notice other people are on the track and they are looking at me like I am that <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Let's be fair. But they are laughing their butts off. They saw me roll up with my jump stilts and they say, what do you have planned today? You may remember me from such hits as Big Mac Mile where I ate it four Big Macs and ran a mile or the Croc 400. But this is the kind of stuff that I like to make. I call it fun with fitness. Bro, right up my alley. The exact kind of videos I want to make. I gotta connect with this guy. If you like these kind of videos, do me a favor, press that subscribe button. I've already I'll done it, mate. Alright, my friends, how are we? What is going on? And welcome back. Welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts video. Today, we're actually beginning, we're beginning today's uh, session of reactions, you could say, with a guy, Nick Simmons. And I'm watching this video because Nick Simmons actually impresses me. He impresses me as a YouTuber. He's an ex, an, well, he's an ex-professional athlete, ex-professional runner, who is basically just living his best life. He's going around creating content, creating awesome content, interactive content with his subscribers, you know, around athletic events, and basically just having a whole lot of fun, it seems. You know what I mean? Like, there's obviously there's some hustle behind it, which I know all about, but to see the finished product that he creates and puts out there, you know, at a very regular pace, I want to say, you know, big ups to Nick Simmons. I want to say I cannot wait to watch this video. In fact, every one of your videos that comes out, I want to watch. But this one, this one definitely uh, took my fancy. And the reason is, is because from what I can see from the thumbnail, <laughs> Bionic Man attempts more. Bionic Man attempts one mile world record. Now this guy, his titles are perfect. It's something fitness challenge versus subscribers. You know, 1K run versus subscribers. 400 meter race versus subscribers. Beep test or pacer test versus subscribers. You know, he's, he's got it down. And I'll tell you what, when I finally, once and for all, land stateside, I'm going to be making those videos too. So if you are a subscriber of mine and I am doing my round trip and I do put the call out, stay tuned guys because there's going to be opportunities for you to come down. We're going to meet at, you know, whatever track, whatever field, play backyard football, you know, have some races, have some games, prizes make content, you come down, you come down to an event, you're definitely guaranteed to be on a video, you know what I mean? I can't wait. It's all going to be good times. And with that being said, let's get into it. I've honestly got no time to lose. It's 9.30. My sister and I are going to hit the gym together at 11. So, look, I've got one pot of coffee to get through. I'm going to be nice and uh, amped up, hopefully. <laughs> you never really know what's, you never really know how the coffee's going to hit. I have been looking forward to this video for a very long time. Like I said, Nick Simmons, got a lot of time for you. I love what you're doing with your channel. I'm getting a lot of inspiration from it. And I hope one day that when I get, and I hope one day that you might see this video or I might see a few of yours, we might connect up and bring both of our subscribers down to an event. Maybe, maybe, even, maybe even a game of, of my subscribers versus your subscribers. How's that? That sounds pretty fucking. That sounds pretty fucking fun to me. Anyways, guys, let's go. Oh my god! Look at this. So yeah, I took a liking to this guy because he is. He is a professional athlete, you know what I mean? And I guess a lot of the criticism behind me putting this, you know, putting this content out, calling myself a rugby player is the fact that I've never actually played professional rugby. Um, but I'm doing my absolute very best this year to, to get that faith back in, in, the, in the audience, you know, behind me that respects me as a rugby player. So I am playing rugby again this year, but we're not talking about rugby, we're talking about running. And that's what Nick Simmons is famous for. If we read the description box, I'm 5 foot 10 tall and my personal best in the mile is 3 minutes and 56 seconds. He broke the 4 minute mile. That is incredible. So I assume he's going to try and break a 3 minute and 56 second mile using bionic legs that make me 7 foot 3. You can get, you can, you can get a pair of these jump stilts here. Okay. Okay, he's got an affiliate link. I see you. I'm going to have to have a quick look at how fast and how far the strides are. But I guess it doesn't matter what you're wearing. If you in a running motion, doesn't matter what metal you've got strapped to your legs, but if you are in a running motion and you cover a 1600 meter distance in less than four minutes, 
Well, that's incredible. And if he gets something like three minutes, <laughs> I think, I, can, can he beat three minutes? That's the question. That's here. Ah! My package. I've been waiting for this one. What's up, guys? Nick here. And I have a personal best in the mile of three minutes and 56 seconds. But my goal wasn't to run 356. It was to run three minutes and 42 seconds, thus breaking Hisham El Garouge's world record in the mile of 343.13 and giving me the title king of the mile. But I never quite got there. However, something inside this box may actually allow me to break that world record. Are you ready for this? This is just fun. This is just straight up fun. Adults toys. Oh That's right. Adults toys. Put it that way. <laughs> Fucking hell. Jesus. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's like a double pogo stick. I saw these videos on YouTube of people with jump stilts doing crazy things. Jumping 10, 15 feet in the air. Look at these backflips. Look at this backflip. This is insane. I just had to get my hands on a pair of one of these and see if they could help me run the world record in the mile. <laughs> that is the perfect thing to use it for. Be interesting to see how stable he is. Alright. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Oh my gosh, I'm scared to stand up. Hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine that. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. Whoa, alright, alright. Alright all right, guys. I know it's a reaction video, but I'm gonna do at this very moment exactly what all of you guys would do. I'm going to skip to the interesting part. I've made the mods I wanted to make. My cyborg legs are good to go. Right now, i got to get a warm-up in. Let's do this. Oh, shoot. Man. A warm-up. <laughs> Beyond warmed up, I'm exhausted. <laughs> things weigh a ton. Trying to get my knees up so I don't catch my toe and go down. This is going to be an all-out marathon. Yeah, it might be... Oh, God! Oh, shit. <laughs> might... Oh, shit. So, really have to pick your feet up. I believe he's going to get slower than his PB. What do you reckon? Let's see. I'm doing a good job of loading up the spring. That's the trick with these stilts. You have to be patient. You have to really come down on the spring. <laughs> Look at this guy. What an idiot. <laughs> super graceful. Yes. Imagine if you went down to the park and you saw this guy running around. You slow it down in that slow-mo shot. You can see when I stop and really load up that spring. Now, this is a good time where I think we could talk about kind of the development of prosthetics. You know, you think about a peg leg back in the 1800s. Well, we've come a long way since then. You look at some prosthetics today, actual prosthetic limbs. <laughs> look at this guy. is incredible. I'm talking about the introduction of carbon fiber. I'm talking about people doing things that we... Look, I don't know if it's just me, but I, I don't think he's breaking any world records. And in fact, prosthetic limbs have gotten so good that it's very controversial in the Olympic Games, in world championships, certainly in track and field, but in a lot of sports. Do they provide too much of an advantage? It was a pretty fast you know, 400 though, wasn't it? The quote unquote Blade Runner with Oscar Pistorius uh, in the 2012 Olympic Games. So in closing, I'm just going to say that I find Paralympic athletes and athletes using prosthetic limbs hugely, hugely inspirational. And they inspire me every single day to, to push my own limits. But I'll also say this. I know that humans are incredibly good at engineering. And if we haven't engineered a bionic limb that's better than a human limb thus far, it's going to happen in our lifetime. And we have to have a plan. <laughs> this guy. I'm curious about your guys' thoughts on this. Will you please let me know in the comments below. Is that two what laps? What do you think about prosthetic limbs and what's the answer? Was it one and a half laps? 21st century. Coming through the first lap, it's oh, first lap. Three, four way off pace but again i am getting so much better with these springs each step i feel like i'm learning how to load it better and better and run more gracefully in the back of my mind i'm thinking about those athletes that were doing backflips in this i've got to think that they could backflip their way down the track faster than i'm running right now 
Now you may notice other people are on the track and they are looking at me like I am that <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Let's be fair. But they are laughing their butts off. They saw me roll up with my jump stilts and they say, what do you have planned today? You may remember me from such hits as Big Mac Mile where I ate it four Big Macs and ran a mile or the Croc 400. But this is the kind of stuff that I like to make. I call it fun with fitness. Bro, right up my alley. The exact kind of videos I want to make. I gotta connect with this guy. If you like these kind of videos, do me a favor, press that subscribe button. I've already I'll done tell it, you mate. What, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, I don't think there is any chance that I can make at the time. I don't think I'm running 342 today, but I also don't think anyone has ever run a mile in jump still. So I know that if I can just finish this race, I will be the world record holder for fastest person to ever run a mile in jump stilts. There's just one problem though. These jump stilts weigh about 15 pounds each and I am exhausted. Oh yeah, you trying would be, man. Pick my knees up trying to make He's going to fall over. My toe and go down again is getting harder and harder. I think he's going to he's going to stack it. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, I went down so hard. I fucking knew it. I knew that was coming. Oh shit, bro. <laughs> oh no! Uh, Ryan, thank you for making sure you threw, threw that in 1864 times here. Let's make sure we go back and look at that one more time in slow motion. Again, coming off the corner, I start really trying to stride out. I maybe over stride. <laughs> I actually clip myself as I'm trying Nick. to bail. I redirect my momentum. Oh damn! Full face plant, full corpse mode. Now, here's the problem with going down when you're on jump stilts. It's really hard to get back on. How the hell is he going to get back up? I've always depended on the kindness of strangers. And this great gentleman, who happens to be 6'8", comes over and what? lifts my busted ass off the track. 6'8". <laughs> Pat on the back, <laughs> on my feet, and I'm up again. You can't stop this. I still have two full laps to go. <laughs> It looks like a moonwalker. I've gone down twice. Hard. I mean, really hard. I'm rattled. I'm tired. But I'm thinking I have to finish this race. I'm going to tell you guys something that you may not know about me. I ran competitively for over 20 years, and I never, ever DNF'd a race. DNF stands for did not finish. If I stood on that starting line, I finished the race no matter what. It was something I was very proud of. I don't believe in DNF, and I'm not about to DNF here. I'm lifting my knees reasonably well. It's almost like that little nap I took in the grass allowed me to get my energy <laughs> back. I'm bouncing well. You did take a nap. I have 600 meters to go. That's not that far. This is where I might even start winding up a kick if I was running a full mile uh, regularly. This is where you start to position yourself in a mile for that lethal last lap. Striding down the back stretch, that's what's going through my mind. But I can kind of look at my back kick, and it's not looking good. I, 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 I can't hold the springs anymore, and it's almost like I'm walking on stilts. Just stay up, my guy. You won't be doing any backflips today, but you'll finish your mile. That's in the back of my mind. I really don't want to go down again, knowing just how bad it hurts when you fall from that height. Oh no, this is not looking good. Not again! Oh, oh no. <laughs> not there. I think it's a <laughs> flip to the back of the leg. Absolutely brutal. At least I bailed into the grass. You can't help but laugh, can you? This one is being particularly brutal. There's a lot of gravel in the grass. I look down. I'm ah. bleeding from my hands. I'm bleeding from my knee. This is taking too high of a toll on my poor body. No. I call it. No. Oh, I'm, ex I'm, I'm surprised about that. What happened? A DNF. Oh my god. I can't go on. I'm just so tired. I can't pick up my knees enough to load the spring. And I keep falling. I cut myself here. I got pretty good road rash here. I'm definitely bleeding there. I never, I'm in 20 years of running, I have never DNF'd a race. In my life, I'm DNF'ing. That hurt. But, even though I didn't get the one mile world record, that is the one kilometer world record on jump stilts. Still got it!
smash that subscribe button. See you guys next week for something hopefully less dumb than this. Oh, man, look at this. I see, look. Crazy 400 meter race first subscribers. Winner gets $100 cash. I mean, look at that thumbnail. Look at the title. It is just... Well, it's clickbait, but it's not because that's exactly what happened. And those are the titles and those are the thumbnails and those are the videos that I am determined to bring to this channel before it's all said and done. And so with that being said, guys, I'd say uh, definitely go and check out Nick's channel. Um, possibly even recommend him to go and check out my channel and maybe even the video, if not this one, when I reacted to his pacer test versus subscribers because that was a good one. It was a crack up. I love the attitude, I love the positivity, I love the smiles, I love the upbeatness, I love the physical activity, love the fitness, and um, with that being said guys, I hope you've enjoyed. In the next one, we're going to be looking at another runner, and it is the phenom, Matt Broling. And if you don't know who he is, like me, then you're about to. So I'll see you then. Peace out guys, have a great day.